Uh, hello people, uh, this is Johnny Microbiologist, uh, top medical microbiologist from Nairobi, Kenya. But uh, today I'm in my up country and uh, I've actually seen a lot of alcoholism. Also, I, visit, uh, I visited a hospital here in my up country and I uh, found that the ward is full of uh, alcoholism victims, uh, who are mostly in the wards. Uh, there are some who are in ICU. And actually, I I started doing some research on alcoholism. Uh, so uh, my, my my research was based on alcohol intoxication. Uh, so what is alcohol into intoxication? Alcohol intoxication is whereby uh, we have behavioral changes during the whole aspect of the alcoholism uh, consumption. So uh, alcohol uh, uh, intoxication is characterized by uh, factors such as mood fluctuations and uh, during the mood fluctuations we have uh, poor body coordination and balance we have uh, some elements of psychosis which I'll explain later in this video uh, we have uh, also emotions whereby the person is an emotionally stable okay so w actually what happens to the to the to the brain when uh, the, the victim is uh, uh, is actually in, into alcoholism so the, the brain has uh, some parts we have the the, the the gray gray matter and the white matter the gray matter has the neurotransmitters and the white matter has, have the axons so the the brain has uh, neurotransmitters the neurotransmitters are the ones that uh, coordinate everything in the human body so the brain is the most delicate and complicated organ in the human body so uh, how, how are these uh, neurotransmitters affected by alcohol? So when a person uh, is into alcoholism, so we have the neurochemical uh, reactions caused by the alcohol into the neurotransmitters. So neurotransmitters uh, play a vital role in the human body. And therefore, when we have uh, uh, the, the, the whole aspect of uh, alcoholism, the neurochemicals uh, may affect how the body uh, balances the imbalance of the body also when we have the hippocampus part of the brain of it may be characterized by dementia whereby when a person uh, uh, learns something he or she forgets within in a span of three minutes five minutes he or she has already forgotten so we have the amygdala and uh, that one is mainly affects the the social the emotions how a person relates to other people so when that is affected, you may find that the person is abusive, yeah, and also violent, either verbally or uh, even physical. Hi, okay, another part is uh, we have the cortex. The cortex is very essential in the judgment, whereby the, when, the, when the person uh, is, is uh, subjected to alcohol and it hits the cortex, you find that the, fun, the jokes become more funny okay so on other extremities of al alcoholism we have uh, a syndrome co called a uh, koraskov koraskov syndrome uh this is this is actually uh you see those guys who are into alcoholism long-term addictions like an addiction of alcoholism uh are not are not able to absorb vitamin b1 caused by too much alcoholism and dependency in alcoholism and therefore uh, lack of these uh, vitamin B1 may lead to like slurred speech, like permanent uh, slurred speech, and also uh, one may not may, may not be able to like uh, let's say to, to, to break down the, the alcohol toxins, and therefore vitamin B1 helps to break down the toxins, but the alcohol uh, induces the lack of uh, absorption of vitamin B1. Another Another form of uh, a condition or effect health implication is called hepatic encephalopathy. This is, this only occurs after the liver fails. Okay, the liver has to break down the alcohol toxins, but when the liver fails, that is whereby we have hepatic encephalopathy, and this majorly affects the liver. The, the there won't be any temperature controls, and uh, more so. The, the, the 
the patient or the victim may be subjected to tablets such as HepaGuard, which will uh, facilitate the breakdown of the toxins, which is very essential. So much of uh, uh, explaining about uh, alcoholism. And have you ever seen a bottle written that the excessive alcoholism is consumption to your health? And also, uh, the, you, we only sell uh, the alcohols to people who are over 18 and is uh, not for persons under 18. Under 18, is, uh, th these are adolescents. So adolescents are not supposed to take alcohol because at this time, their brain is developing and also when, when they actually the structure of the brain uh, is not yet developed as it's supposed to be as compared to a person who is 18 years and above so this affects the whole uh, development of the brain and the structure okay uh, we have seen that uh, those people are so much into alcoholism fall and also have fractures because uh, too much alcoholism leads to uh, thinner bones and also fragile, the, the bones become fragile so when you fall uh, it may lead to fractures yeah and not only about the limbs also the head fractures and therefore that uh, marks the end of my profound research and next week on Fridays on Friday I'll be releasing a new video about uh, methanol uh, to intoxication uh, what happens when someone uh, has ingested?